Welcome to Science, Fun and We. I am Mr. RKK with my friend Mr. Arimas. Today I will tell you about the programming of ML 8 by controller. Are you ready? Now, focus. Generally used, we use the interface. First, AVR slash I.H. Second, Util slash this header file contains various functions which is used in ABR and ML API guide microcontroller. And this header file is used for the delay function. If you want a process to delay by 3 millisecond, 4 millisecond, or whatever, then we will use this header file. Now, what is the representation? First, it can be represented in the form of binary or in the form of hexadecimal. If we represent this in the binary form, then it is an input in first pin, then second pin, then third pin. If 0 means low, 1 means high, then what is it written? It means 1 and it means 2. If we write then this is hexadecimal, it will be 0, x, x for hexadecimal and b for binary. 1 like this, 2 like this in binary. Let us take an example. In binary, example is 0, B, all are 1. Each bit represents the input at each pin. Each bit represents the input in a pin. Here, all pins get high output, high input because all are 1, so input is high. Okay? So, according to it, what will be, uh, how it can be represented it in hexadecimal? It can be represented as 0 x f f f means 15 15 means 1 1 1 1 okay so we have seen the representation now let us come to the main topic okay the first one DDR second one port and third one pin these are the keywords which are predefined in the ABR slash I dot H header file okay that's why we place header file Otherwise, no need of that. But what is the full form of data? It means data direction register. It is used to read for reading purpose as, as well as for writing purpose. Then port, port is used for reading purpose as well as writing purpose. But pin is used only for reading purpose. Okay. What is the main function of data? Decides the mode. Any code or pin is an input mode or an output mode. It receives the input or it gives output. It is decided by ABR. Let us take an example. There are four LEDs in code B. This is code B. This is the example. K. And B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. There are eight pin. But these four LEDs are connected to first four pins. Okay. If we want that there's an LED, it doesn't, it can't receive input, so it will get output. If you want that these LED are at output mode. Okay. In future, if you want output from them, you want them in the LEDs close in letter, so you have to keep it in output mode. So how you will do? For output mode, you should provide one. 1, 1, 1. You should provide 1 to each pin. So it can be represented as DDR port name. Port, what is port name? Port name is B. Then 0x. I am representing in hexadecimal. 0f. 0 means 0, 0, 0, 0. 4 times 0. F means 4 times 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1. It is provided 1, 1. It means it is in output mode. Now, and, and if you want that it is in input mode, let's take, take an example of sensors. Sensors take input, it doesn't give output. So, you assign 0 to it. Okay? If you assign 0 to it, then it will get input mode. You will you can provide 0, 0. You, yeah, you can provide anything because there is no element is connected. So, here should be, you should provide 0, 0 here. Ok? 
okay so that it is in input mode now come to port i told you that it can read also write use for on and off let us take an example okay these are four leds you have made it in output mode by using media but initially they glow or they don't glow you want them to on or off if you want as you on the microcontroller it should glow so then provide one 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 like this port b leds are connected to port b if you provided 0 x 0 f means these are provided by 1111 one means they will glow initially okay if you provide 0 here if you write 0 here then it will not glow it is in output mode but initially it will not glow and if you want to glow them in, in future you can apply this okay now come to pin it is used for reading purpose only it is it has a limited use okay so mainly it is used when you use sensors for conditions if there is line all over the board and there is black line or white line it reads that for applying conditions it is mainly used if for example i will tell you that in the program so now we will discuss about motors this is a motor motor is to reduce positive angle and negative angle these are the four case which can be done if you provide positive as 1 and minus negative as 1 well, or positive as 0 and negative as 0 there is no potential difference no circuit can work without any potential difference okay so the motor will not work now come to the third case if you provide positive as 0 negative as 1 well, then it will move in anti clockwise direction like this And if you provide positive terminal as one and negative terminal as zero, then it will move in clockwise direction. As in our clock, this is clockwise direction and this is anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so this is the concept of the motor. After that, we will discuss about electro motors. How we can move our robot by the acceleration sensor? How we can move our robot? We are using lens and lens is using gear to acceleration sensor. If I do like this, then it will go forward. If I do like this, then it will come backward. If I get to the left, then our robot will move over left. And if I get my hand towards right, then our robot move turns towards right. After that, I will take an example of this and tell you how it works. Okay guys, I'll show you the programming. How to program robot so that it can be controlled by acceleration sensor. For this purpose, I am using two software. Number one, HID Boot Flash software. Number two, Winavia software. This Winavia software package contains Programmer Notepad. This one, yes, this Programmer Notepad. To work in it, I have to open the file first. This file is in desktop, then Science One and V. Yes, this main file. Okay. Now I will explain you. Okay, this has include AVR, I/O, dot H. Okay, this is used for port, DDR keywords. Okay, and this I two S, I two C means inter integrated circuit. This header file is used for write and read functions. Okay, as in C and C plus plus, I am using void man, and I am assigning x axis and y axis as zero. I am initializing them by zero. DDR D. I told you earlier that uh, what is the function of DDR? DDR is used for determining the mode, input mode or output mode. My motors are connected to D4, D5, D6, D7 in the D port. That's why I have made it. F means one, 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 one. Means I have assigned D4, D5, D6, D7 by one, so that it work in output mode. Now port. when my robot is start then it is at stop position so that so i have assigned it zero 
d4 d5 d6 d7 are initially zero so that they are at rest position initially now write 0x07 this this is used for determining the mode for changing the mode and this 0x01 is responsible for active mode so i i have made it to active mode so that the our robot can be controlled by acceleration sensor by this i have made acceleration sensor to active position okay while one this is for infinite loop now this is statement this is statement for using uh, used to re uh, reading the x axis location 0x00 is used to read the x axis location and 0x01 is used to read the y axis location because the acceleration sensor work on the tilted from the origin or axis okay now this is statement else if statement this else if statement and this else if statement these are the fixed one because acceleration sensor work according to the variation from the origin variation from the coordinate axis so these are the fixed values x is greater than 12 and x is less than 25 these are the fixed values okay when it is like this this condition applied then it is at 0x40 4 in binary means 0100 2 in binary means 0010 9 in binary means 1010 and 6 in binary means 0110 okay so i have assigned d4 d5 d6 d7 these values as different conditions so it will move right left forward backward okay else if no condition is satisfied by them means our sensor is at straight it is not tilted in any direction it is not tilted with respect to origin that's why in that situation it should be at rest means 4d equal to 0x00 means at stop position okay to check this our program is correct or not we will use tools then make all yes here process exit code 0 means there is no error by this we create the hex file which is used by hex means hexadecimal file which is used by hid boot plus software by which we flash our microcontroller or the memory of microcontroller okay there is no error so i will minimize it now and after this i will use hid boot plus software before this i have to connect my usb to it so that i can program it okay now i will connect the usb Okay. This USB is connected to the laptop. I have told you earlier that how to assemble it, but this acceleration sensor is new. Negative is connected. This negative, yes, this. This negative is connected to negative. C. It is not C. It it is D. D is connected to D, and we will connect both of these to S C L and S D A. That means. ADC five and ADC four. We will connect to it. So we have connected USB. For this, you have to make it in programming mode. I have on the programming mode and it is in USB mode. Okay, and reset it so that the old data can be flashed. This can be flashed up to ten thousand times. Okay, so you can. That is too much. Okay, I have connected this. This now I will program it. Okay, I have this USB to the laptop. Now I will flash it. Find device HID boot detected means it is connected and it is reset. Now I will open the hex file. Desktop science one and B. This hex file. Okay. Now flash it. finished flashing the device means this program is now installed in the memory of my mac controller now i will remove my usb cable okay i have flashed the device i have connected the adapter to get the power supply okay now 
you have to switch it toward the programming off mode and it towards the ls mode okay this is for forward this is for backward this is for left and this is for right so switch it towards the ls mode ls mode it is ready go forward move backward move forward move forward move backward move forward move left move right move forward backward left right straight straight forward backward left right forward right stop for more updates move forward please subscribe to science fun and we